What's happening, my beautiful people? My name is Mike. And I'm Mike. And today we're here with Red Bull hosting a tryout for the Neymar Junior 5 tournament happening here in Houston, Texas. Are you ready? I'm always ready, baby. So Mike's going to get him in shape. If you, if you recognize this guy, he used to play for the Houston Dynamo. He had a short stint with uh, yeah, Portland as well. Lost championships, uh, you know, a year and a half at Portland. Yeah, half a year at DC, back to Houston. So uh, yeah, a little under 10 years of uh, professional experience. So Mike's going to put him through the ringer, and I'm going to be there making sure everything runs smoothly. And we're going to pick out the squad. Top five, let's go, let's kick it, come on. Uh, thank you guys for coming out and supporting Red Bull, Mike, and myself. Um, so today we are holding a five on five Neymar Junior Challenge. We're just getting underway behind us, and we've had about 30 to 40 people show up, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how this kind of develops. Right now, we're just making sure we stretched out. They're feeling good before we get into playing five aside and kind of going back and forth. But I'm looking for athleticism, because in this type of tournament, where you have someone that's eliminated, athleticism might carry you through. So I need to make sure that we got somebody physical and fit. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna have my eyes on early on. If you can't run, you can't push people around, it's not gonna work for my team. The Neymar 5 tournament is a little bit different than just normal indoor football matches. A lot more faster paced, we have that elimination feel. So you gotta have guys that are working hard in warm-ups because you know they're gonna give it their all in the game. We gotta have good teammates here. It's really important for our team to represent the city well. So I wanna make sure we get a competitive team and we can give ourselves a chance to win. I don't want to just go there and show up and get some good content. I want to go to Miami and be able to put Houston on the map in terms of the best players in the, na in the national scene. You got, I see what y'all did here. Y'all ever get teamed up for something. Sloppy left foot action. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I remember the first time dude, I went to a technical class. Uh, like he has like a technical class. I was like, oh shit, I'm not ready. We push people over or what? I'm expecting you to crunch some people, all right? Five aside, don't, don't be easy on anybody. Use the grown man's strength to your advantage. Michael will be playing a tournament. Say that's a good ad. Now, maybe not having me, but at least having him will be a good ad, right? And I'll be in there pushing people around. I've never been in a tournament structured like the Neymar 5, where legit, it is five players, then dodgeball style, four players, three players, two players, where it's a direct elimination. One mistake, and you're out. So that's a new type of pressure. Usually when you're playing a football match or a soccer match, you can get away with a few bad touches and kind of get the flow of the match. That doesn't happen in this type of tournament. Mm -hmm. See, Mike's a great player, and he's actually going to be our enforcer. You always need one of those guys on the team. You know, one thing playing with Mike, um, you know, with Sphere, and then just some pickup games outside in the Houston community. You know, he's a great player, but he's very physical. He's a gamer, literally, you know, off the court and on. So it's one thing that you know, partnering and teaming up with this guy, we're going to be great with. We're going to be successful because of our attitude. I think we're going to win this off. The will to win, if, if that makes sense. You guys watching at home, a lot of times in matches that are ugly, the team that wants more is going to get the victory. And I'm not saying our match is going to be ugly, but not every game in a knockout tournament is going to be that tiki-taka, that Barcelona build-up. Sometimes you're going to have to grunt it out and get a W. Mm. This is an interesting question for you. Yeah. Please, I want to hear how this will help you. Well, when I was developing those hand skills, Mike, <laughs> I played high school soccer, played college soccer, so that's led Where? up to this. I went to McMurray, D2. I don't even know where that is. What's, where is that? Abilene. Can I get some like credentials? Let me see some history on that. Can we Wikipedia this guy or something? Is it? Anyways, Mike has a lot of football credentials, and I've got some different types of credentials. When we team up, you can see the chemistry's there. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, You're trying to replace me already. I'm right? at Mike Chabala. <laughs> Let's kick it. We got it. Bro. That's all we need to say, bro. But I think that we're going to work out fine as a team, because at the end of the day, we both have the mentality that we want to win. I've seen Mike get very angry. This is not on video, but he'll chase down somebody over a match that he's not winning. So that's a great feature when you're playing a competitive tournament, an elimination tournament. I would always take people that hate losing more than people that enjoy winning. So we yeah. welcome you with hey, that. Amen to that, dude. Actually, yeah. that was the best thing you said all day. Oh! Finally, you ended on a high note. That's how you're supposed to do it. I'll make a watch to the end of the video. He's still on the team. There I'll you go. Understand. We're good. Worst case scenario, you know, there's six <laughs> places I could be on the bench, you know, for one of the games. We're good. We're all right. You're in. No, it was great. I mean, I think we got our team. We're ready to go. April 29th. 
Houston Sports Creek. I mean, our team should be ready to go and uh, compete, right? Yeah, ready to win this thing. Tell us to it. Um, big thanks to Red Bull for allowing us to put everything together here. Same with Sports Creek. We appreciate it. Never played on a blue pitch. Looking forward to doing it again. Remember to hashtag it.